The Kulgadi Gold Project is 5 kilometres from the town of Kulgadi and 30 kilometres from Kalgoorlie in Western Australia. Located in Australia's largest producing gold region, ensures that all of the required infrastructure for a mining operation is already in place. This includes a skilled workforce within driving distance to the project. The Kulgadi project was historically mined up until the late 1980s, where around 60,000 ounces of gold was produced. The project is spread across a tenement package of approximately 3,000 hectares and hosts an existing resource of just over 200,000 ounces of gold. Primary acquired the Kulgadi Gold Project in mid-2016 as they identified the project as a low capital cost opportunity to start gold production by next year. Whilst at site, we're going to take a closer look at the deposits that make up the project, what work is required before production can commence, as well as the toll treatment opportunities. But first, let's take a closer look at the deposits that make up the project. The project currently consists of two key deposits, the historical McPherson's open pit operation and Tyco. The McPherson's deposit hosts a current resource of approximately 150,000 ounces of gold, with the majority being in the measured and indicated category. The deposit was historically mined as a series of shallow open pits, and despite the operation closing nearly 30 years ago, the pit walls and ramps remain in reasonable condition. The gold mineralization is hosted in a series of stacked quartz reef veins which are clearly visible inside the historical pit. This means that when mining of ore commences, no pre-stripping will be required, which significantly reduces the initial capital cost and time frame to first production. In addition to the open pitable resource, the mineralization remains open at depth. These high grade veins may allow for an underground project in the future once the open pit operation ceases. Primary has also identified a potential extension to the McPherson's deposit with over 700 metres of strike that has never been drill tested below a depth of 25 metres, despite being hosted in the same tonalite structure. Drilling of these potential extensions, as well as in-pit drilling, will commence during 2016. Whilst the other known deposit at the Kulgadi project is Tyco. Tyco has a current resource of around 50,000 ounces of gold and has no historical workings. Mineralization of the resource starts just four meters below surface and goes to a depth of approximately 100 meters, meaning the deposit is amenable to open pit mining. Both the McPherson's and Tyco deposits will be mined via a typical open pit method, consisting of drill and blast, load and haul. Primary plans for the ore at Kulgadi to be processed via a toll treatment arrangement. Toll treatment significantly reduces the initial capital cost, as well as reduces the lead time to first gold production. There are three processing facilities, all located within trucking distance of the project. All facilities are easily accessible by established road infrastructure. The most likely option for treatment would be at the Greenfields Processing Facility as it is already in production. We have estimated that the Kulgadi project will produce between 45,000 ounces and 60,000 ounces of gold production per annum.